If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question again before listening on. Now, since the question is asking us to estimate the maximum error in the calculated area of this disk, and the disk happens to be circular, we can consider first the formula for the area of a circle which of course is pi r squared. What we will do next in order to use differentials is to calculate the derivative on both sides of this equation, and we're going to do so with respect to the radius. So the left side becomes dA dr, and then the right side would just obey the power rule. We can pull the exponent down, multiply by pi, and then subtract one from the exponent to make it r to the first power. We could then multiply both sides of the equation by dr in order to isolate the dA term. And the reason we want to do that is because the maximum error will indeed turn out to be dA. That's actually what the question is asking us to find. Which means, of course, that all we need to do is to plug into the right side the radius as well as dr. Now, dr also represents an error, but it would be the error in the radius, which was given to us as being 0.2 centimeters. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug in for the radius 24 centimeters and then the error in measuring the radius as 0.2 centimeters. And that turns out to be 9.6 pi centimeters squared. And if you wanted to estimate that, that turns out to be about 30 centimeters squared. So that would be the maximum error in measuring the area of this circular disk. Now for part B to calculate the relative error, what we do is we take the error in the area and divide it by the total area. In differential notation, we could write dA divided by the area. Now, of course, we derived an expression for dA as being 2 pi r times dr, and then the area of the circle, again, is pi r squared. We'll notice in the numerator and denominator is a pi, so we can cancel them, as well as a r in the numerator and denominator. So plugging in the known value for dr, which was 0.2 centimeters, divided by the radius, which was 24 centimeters, gives us a relative error of approximately 0.017. And in terms of a percent error, we would have approximately 1.7%. Of course, just moving the decimal point over two places to the right.